I've been doing this for a long time, uh, and one of the things I've kind of become aware of and developed over all these years is what's the most important question you can ask a family member about their loved one who's had a stroke or a brain injury or um, been through critical illness, been in the intensive care unit, and it's the question that never gets asked. And if you're a healthcare professional, it's a question you ought to ask. And if you're a family member, you ought to think about it and bring it to the attention of your physician or the person that's taking care of you. And the question is, how is mom, dad, your husband, how are they different? So that they may have come out of their experience um, and everybody says, you know, they're just tired. They've been in the intensive care unit a long time. They have ICU-itis, we call it and they'll get better over time. But when you talk to the family, you realize, and they say, you know, they can walk, they can talk, but they're different. Their memory isn't as good, their personality is different, uh, and this gets missed all the time. That physicians concentrate on the physical and say, well, but they can walk and they can swallow and just give it time. But who we are as human beings and the relationship that you have with your spouse, with your child, with your family is a lot based on behavior and who is that person. Um, and so be sure to ask the question, is mom or dad or your son any different? And make sure that the people taking care of them do an evaluation for their cognition, for their thinking, and for their behavior.